Hi everybody, uh, here with uh, Craig and Carolyn McNabb. We're at um, under the awning. It's starting to get a little bit humid here this morning, but um, thanks guys firstly for uh, coming back to the Classic. Great to see you back. Thank it's you. great to be back here. Fantastic. Um, weather's been pretty kind to us so far. We're not quite as hot, still humid, but not quite as hot this year. It's an annual trip for a lot of people. Obviously it is for you guys. Firstly, home and also your properties, uh, Ivanhoe. What's season been like in the south for oh, you guys? We've had a great season for the last two seasons now and uh, we've dried off a little bit at home, but uh, we just got another 33 mil of rain at, at home and uh, 130 at Ivanhoe. So no, and any rain at Ivanhoe is good rain. And a lot of those cattle, I know you, know, you love your Santa and that Santa Cross. Um, we were lucky enough here at the Classic a few years ago now, probably five or six years ago, um, the second round of the um, the Classic, we're, uh, we were using um, CM Pastoral Company cattle that did p do particularly well up here and um, looking forward to the second round this afternoon. Uh, you guys have had horses. Uh, you've just had a run in the open, I believe. Yes, that's right. So we're fortunate we had a uh, young homebred um, filly who's now seven just go around in her second round of the open and um, she was actually out of a stock horse mare that I've bought up here, very first horse I bought up here in 2011, so um, she's now a broody at home and enjoying motherhood. <laughs> and you say the one you got broken in went to, yep. um, went so, to the breaker and you've never seen a bat? Yes, yeah. that's right. So I sent her to Bruce O'Dell to be broken in and she that was well five years ago as a two-year-old and she hasn't come home. So uh, Bruce's son Bailey's been all over her and had his first competition this year at the Young Guns and did really well on her and yeah, she's, yeah. she's in good hands. Look, I guess with the Classic, there's a lot of money gets put out on some of these horses. Um, we look over, I think Phoenix, he's a bit of a, a celebrity in the south, but yes. nearly everywhere you go, you see him and people recognise and know the horse. Um, you guys have invested in the Classic with some terrific horses. You've got three here this year that were all They're Classic all purchases. Here, yeah. um, and you've always made that effort. You've, you've put these horses with some really top competitors and some of the, the best hands in the country. What's the process? How important is that foundation that these guys give them before you take them on? Oh, look, we couldn't do it ourselves. Um, and uh, so they put the foundation into the horses, which then makes it easy for us to go on. Because we, we, we travel a lot with these horses from, from one end of Australia to the other drafting. And uh, you know when you get on them that uh, if, you, if, if I can pick the right cow, we'll get round. And Moving on, uh, we've only we've just finished the first round of competition. Um, it's our third year now that CM Pastoral Company, you guys have kindly um, got behind the, the Jimmy Matthews Memorial um, Ladies Draft. And for those that haven't been part of it, the uh, the top running first round of any competition, so whether it's a Young Gun, the Open, the Classic or the Masters, uh, those top competing ladies um, come in on a dash for cash effectively. And you guys, um, I know when we first talked about it, Craig, I think our first um, involvement was you were actually flying um, Richard Norton, the managing director, yes. and Jimmy Matthews as a uh, pilot through yes. a lot of his pastoral run. Tell yeah. us a bit, bit about some of those days with yeah, Jimmy Matthews. I, I uh, flew Jimmy around Australia for about 18 odd years and uh, met met the, the, a lot of people and uh, we had a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, saw a, a lot of the country um, and yeah, it was, it, it was good. And, and, and Richard, there was a, a uh, Richard only flew Richard a few times, um, but yeah, no, it, was, it, was, it was good, good experience. And obviously, you guys have had a, a very close relationship with Jimmy personally. Um, you've come on board, seventeen ladies. Um, I think we're Monday night. We've got that ladies final yep. uh, dash for cash. Yep. Uh, we've actually got some um, big dairy steers, which I think will be a lot of fun for the ladies. Yes. Um, it's exciting, and I think it's also it's grown to be a prestigious. Uh, part of the program to get into that that dash for cash that final in itself is it's a big buzz to make a final here at the classic i i know jimmy up there looking down and he would he'd love it absolutely love it and and we can't forget um chairman jewelry uh we've got renee jones yeah. uh renee told me when she was a teenager uh jimmy and dulcy used to actually take her to warwick and she'd strap for them for the right to get a couple of runs in the ladies at warwick and yeah. she's donated a beautiful piece of jewelry a bracelet to the ladies each year yeah. and um combined with you guys, I think it's, it's become one of the highlight um, parts of, of a week-long program this year. Yeah. Um, finally, Carolyn, you're um, heavily involved with the Ladies Foundation. It's, um, this is the, the highlight of the year. A lot of, I know there's 51 weeks of work goes into it. Yeah. Um, a really nice horse again this year for sale with the girls. Yes, that, that's um, right. Bull of Silence being donated again by Mark and Shelley Ruff and Bulla Lynn. 
um, stock horses. Uh, so we're very, very appreciative of our donors there. Our raffle is a monster raffle again, and we've got fabulous uh, donors there with um, Nutrium with the Ride on Mower and Troy Welsh with the Saddle again as well. Um, it's just wonderful to have these backers that just uh, every year will just support and keep pulling through for us. So, yep, we're trade stand again on Wednesday, sell caps, which is our main merchandise on Thursday. Um, the lunch is on, um, so come over and see us. And two great charities, Ronald McDonald House Charities and Bowel Cancer Australia as well this year. I think before we put the camera on, we talked about this almost being an office. Um, Craig, I know you guys do a lot with the girls over here. It's it's a hub for the Ladies Foundation, and yep. you between runs, there's um the glasses are on and the pens working pretty hard here every time we come. That's past. right, and we've got that new Young Ambassadors Quest now that's in its third fourth year, uh, and so we do a meet and greet with them every year here, and we had that yesterday afternoon and just got to know the girls and. Um, introduce them to ourselves and we do a little bit of work with them as well introducing them to our roles so that they get a feel of what life's going to be out there when they have matured and get out into the workforce and how to conduct themselves and what charities are all about and uh, it's really taking off the girls are really embellishing that now well again on behalf of the whole community the camp draft community thank you to the classic ladies they do a wonderful job um, I know like you're the face of it for this this interview but there's a lot of hard-working yeah, ladies and it's it's an enormous part of the, uh, the, the the feel and the culture the importance of what this event brings yeah. um, raising awareness yeah. um, I know a lot of the other stuff women in camp drafting men in camp drafting some wonderful things that are really important to the camp draft community the family of us that are involved Last thing, Craig, hopefully we've got a couple of ticks on a few horses there. We might be able to see, <laughs> see Impastral represented with a uh, purchase yeah, yes. again this year. Uh, yeah, well, we, we hope so. We've still got two alive in the classic, so we'll see how we're going yeah. there. <laughs> well, good luck to those ladies. Um, it's a, Again, it's a wonderful night. Uh, some beautiful cattle being donated, um, again, for the draft. And, uh, again, thank you for your support, both as, a dra as, a, uh, as, um, as uh, cattle donors previously, uh, you bought a lot of cattle from the cattle sale. You've been great supporters of the of the horse sale, but uh, as sponsors of the uh, Jimmy Matthews Memorial, thank you and good luck to those ladies on Monday night. Thank Thanks, you, Mark. Mark. Pleasure thank to be you. here.